All right, so here we go. I want to show you that with just simple motion, I can get our boat going here really easily. So here we go from a standstill. You can see I'm just moving this back and forth. Nice and slow, very little energy. In fact, I'll hold it with just my thumb and my first finger. You notice I can get myself going pretty well with that. It's a nice design for creating forward propulsion. And right now I'm using the long sweep. We don't have any of the clamp shut down. Here's a quick shot of what it looks like in the water. So you can see what the tail foil is doing throughout its arc here. I'll try to give you a good shot through the arc. You can see how the foil flips over through those springs and that gives us the angle we need to create forward propulsion from this. Right now, I'm cruising right along here. Go ahead and crank down the lever a little bit and give her faster motions so we can give a little bit more speed to it. You can see here our speed's going to increase. I've got the thrust foil that I'd showed you that's designed to work with wave action or an up and down action. Right now all I want to do is just push it down and show you that we gain a forward momentum by just pushing it down. See it takes off forward, I pull it up, it's going to go even further forward. So here's a quick shot, push it down, pull it up. You see how far across the screen it moved with two simple actions. Let's go ahead once again, push it down, pull it up, push it down. And you can see I'm just holding on to the end of the two fingers just so that I can push it up and down. I'm not dragging it across the screen. I'm literally using just the up and down force. So once again, we'll just get out into the shot here, push straight down. You can see how far it took off, which is that nice downward push. We'll bring it back, push down. Just have my hand on the top and you can see just how far it travels. It's an awesome design to create propulsion from something as simple as waves. To make this design more effective when it comes to generating forward propulsion from a wave, we now can add in that brake design I showed you on the back and forth motion design. Here it takes a little bit of motion to just get the foil to shift its position enough to create the angle we need. Whereas if I lock that down a bit, very small motions would create a lot of forward momentum. Until next time, I hope you enjoyed.